Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and you guys have been wanting me to bring the random wheel back for quite a while now, and so I figured why not jump back into this series and see what we can manage to get, because there's a lot of possibilities here. So let's start by spinning the wheel for an animal to go after, hopefully we'll get something that's good. What is it going to give us? We got Warthog, wow, okay, so I have not gone for Warthog in a very long time, so it looks like we're going to be heading over to Verhonga Savannah. But let's see, what weapons are we going to have to use to hunt down these warthogs? Hopefully it's going to be some good weapons that aren't going to be too difficult. Oh, the longbow. Yes, because that's uh, that's what I would typically take for warthogs. And uh, the crossbow. Yeah, why not throw another bow in there? We got two more chances. Two more chances to get something that's going to be... Uh, okay, we can't do longbow again. I, I sh or longbow again. I should probably hide a choice since we already selected it. What are we going to get as our third one? Come on, anything... Okay, that's not bad, but it's not something I can really use on Warthogs, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe that that's going to be ethical for them. 454, though, that can be used on them, so I think we're going to be using the 454 quite a lot. Okay, that thing's a lot closer than I thought it was. I heard them call a couple minutes ago, and I've just been slow crouching, hoping that I would be able to spot them soon, and... Well, there he is. There is our Warthog. Let's stand up. I think he's a solo. He's definitely a solo warthog. I don't see any others. I mean, we scared some off that were coming down here, but he was the only one in his zone. Man, that 454 just absolutely knocks him down to the point where I hit him in the face and it still managed to get into the lungs. That's pretty crazy right there. You know, there's something that I've talked about in the live streams recently that I want to talk about here as well. Because it is something that a lot of you watching this very video and this series right here will probably want to know. I've had a lot of people asking me why I don't do the 60 minute trophy challenge anymore. A lot of you really love that series and would love to see more of it. But unfortunately with the state of multiplayer right now, it's really difficult to do a series like that that fully relies on being in multiplayer. Because with that series, I need to go to servers that I've never searched or else it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the video. If I do it in single player and I get on a map where I've got stuff herd managed, obviously I'm going to know exactly where to go to get something to win the 60 minute trophy challenge. There's a good chance that if it's on my own map, then it's going to be a lot easier to find stuff that is going to win us the challenge. And also there's going to be a lot of people in the comments that would accuse me of already having trophies there if I do it in single player. So because of the fact that multiplayer has so many issues with crashing right now, well not really crashing, but so many issues with disconnecting you from servers, there's so many cheaters in lobbies, so many people that kick you, it's really difficult to do 60 minute trophy challenge anymore because half the time I'm just going to be trying to get into servers, getting disconnected, then trying to get into another server and repeating the process to the point where I barely get any time to try and complete the challenge. So. That's why we have not been doing 60 minute trophy challenge. Sadly, with the way multiplayer is nowadays, it's just really difficult to do something like that. Which is why we're doing a random wheel challenge video today instead, because I can do this in single player. And it's something that's not going to get completely screwed over if I can't find servers for a specific map, or if there's cheaters everywhere, or if I just can't stay connected like it would if I was doing 60 minute trophy challenge in multiplayer. So we will continue doing these uh, random wheel challenge videos because it's something I can do in single player, but unfortunately 60 minute trophy challenge will be on hold until EW does something about making the multiplayer a bit more stable. But either way, that is a monster level 4 warthog right there. 49 is definitely not too bad, a good bit into gold and our best one of the day. Nailed it with the crossbow as well. Well I did not realize that one was so close, so we're just going to have to try and get it on the run here. And on the run, we did get it. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. And there it is. That is a red brown, I believe. 45.96. Looking good. Honestly, that's pretty good scoring for a level 3. That is really, really nice right there. Okay, so I know that this is a really big warthog right here. And I know that the uh, 9.3 from the drilling rifle is not an ethical thing to use on a warthog. But I feel like I got to use it because it's in the loadout. If I don't use it, there's definitely going to be at least one comment saying I forgot to use it. Well, there's the poor soul that we just decimated with that 9.3 round, 53.61. That's 
That is pretty big for a level four. But you know, we gotta use all the guns, so we had to do it to him. We are currently 32 away. I want to get to about 20 and then take the shot with the longbow. Because I don't know if I can compensate for the drop accurately enough to take a shot that's in between 20 and 40. I need to either be on the dot of 20 or on the dot of 40 and well, it looks like we're going to go for 20. Question is, can I even get that close? I don't know if I can. He's attentive right now. You know, we might just have to sit up and aim slightly high. In fact, yeah, we will. We killed him, but that was not where I wanted that shot to hit. That hit him right in the face. I mean, we still managed to get one down with the longbow, though. So I suppose it wasn't all a loss. But yeah, we got him right in the face. Got him in the neck bone. Jeez, not the shot that we were going for there, but it did the trick, I suppose. Okay, so this guy is about 90 away or 190 away. We've got a few different ones over there. I think we're going to try a long range shot with the 454. Let's zero to 75. Oh man, I don't know where I'm going to have to aim. Maybe there. I, it was a hit. I think it was a hit. Yeah, that was a hit as well. So we got a hit there. At least one of them. No hunting pressure yet. That is a tough shot to make on such a small animal. I've made like 200 plus meter shots with the 454 on stuff like Cape Buffalo and Moose, but a Warthog is a whole different story. We got some really, really close. Where are they though? Also, I realized that I actually did have a uh, ethical round on me for the drilling rifle. I went into this uh, little thing right here where you can select... Uh, like what ammo you want in there. But because I had it on the uh, the rifle round one when I went in here, it only showed the rifle round and it didn't show any of the shotgun rounds. So I had to hold R to get to go to the shotgun rounds. And then I was able to choose uh, which ones I wanted in there. So we're going to use a 16 gauge slug and see if we can get one of these down. Maybe even two if we're lucky, but I mean, I can't even see them at this point. So we're going to have to be really careful and sneak up there. I hear it. Wait, that's a kudu. So the kudu is in sight, but the warthog isn't. I have no idea where it is. I have no idea where this little guy went. Well, it would feel wrong to let this shot go to waste. Oh. Our Warthog's up there. Well, let's see if we can take this thing down with the crossbow then. And we'll just wait for that uh, Warthog to come down here. And that's going to be a dead kudu. Okay, now we got a rabbit. You know what? We might as well attempt this as well since we're just waiting for that uh, other guy to come down here. Let's see if we can pop this little rabbit with the crossbow. This is going to be a really tough shot. But I think we can make it. It is moving though, so that's a bit of a problem, but... Holy crap, we got it! Oh my gosh! That might be one of the best uh, bow shots I've ever took. On such a small target. Oh my gosh. So there's our little kudu. We got a nice double lung shot on her. Not too bad, not too bad. And there's our little rabbit. That was about as good of a shot as we possibly could have got. A nice little double lung shot with the 300 grain small game point arrow on a uh, little scrub hair from 53 meters as well. That was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy that we hit that. All right, so this guy is a little bit over 100 meters away as far as I can tell. So we might need to aim up a little bit, but that is going to be a what appears to be perfect shot into a level four warthog with the 16 gauge shotgun slug from the drilling rifle. It appears we also have another group of them in the next zone over. And uh, there is a level four there as well, if I could spot it again. Right there, we got another level four, so we're gonna go for that guy next. That is uh, kinda crazy, we got some really nice zones here. This is also my best cape buffalo spot, as you can see. 
So it does not surprise me that it's good for something else as well. Now let's see this guy 5522. That is huge. That is an absolutely massive warthog right there. And the 16 gauge slug doing pretty decent. Hit the shoulder and still managed to get into the lungs. So can't really complain there. That is not too bad. Okay, so this guy's about 106 meters away. I think this will definitely be a makeable shot. It's about the same as the last one. Yeah, that looked really good. Oh man, even the warthogs have that bug where if they're in the water when you shoot them, they just glitch out. You know, I knew it was like that with the feral pigs and also the uh, obviously wild hogs since they're the same thing, but I did not know that it was like that with the, uh, the warthogs as well. I wonder why that bug is even a thing. Like, what causes that? It's really interesting to me. Let's just... Get that guy as well. Since it's on the run trying to get away from us. Oh my gosh. I just unlocked a challenge called Spooky Scarecrow Tier 1. Wait a second. Spot any animal while they're fleeing. Only the first spotting of an individual counts. That is actually hilarious that there is a challenge called Spooky Scarecrow. Well, I guess we are going to do that challenge for a video as well then. I did not know that there was a challenge. It's called Spooky Scarecrow. That's incredible. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and grab this little guy right here. 49.18. That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all. You'll love to see it. And that is probably going to be a good place to go ahead and call it a day. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed the return of the random wheel. And I hope you also enjoyed this little warthog hunt. And let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy hunting the warthogs. And if you do, what's the best warthog trophy you've ever found? Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.